Welcome. A former Buddhist monk who was uh, the translator for uh, Buddha Dasa Bhikkhu, one of the really towering figures of 20th century Thai Buddhism. Now in uh, Santacara is now in the uh, Chicago area. Wisconsin. Wisconsin, you moved up. <laughs> did, you, <laughs> did you shift allegiances from the Cubs to the no. Brewers? Or, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and he did a, a Liberation Park is the name of his uh, center. And um, he did a, a great series of talks on Buddhism, the 12 steps, even though he's not in recovery from a substance addiction anyway. Um, that uh, is still online, right? That's still available? Yep. So if you're interested in that from a, from a Buddhist monk's perspective, fabulous set of talks. Um, and he's going to talk here at the conference about addiction to self, which is another approach to uh, Buddhist recovery, and it's really expanding out the problem. You know, the problem isn't maybe the drug or the alcohol or the sex or the uh, addictive relationships. Maybe it's something else. And of course, this this actually is obviously this is a Buddhist, very core Buddhist teaching. But it's, we can see the, the inklings of it in 12-step teachings around um, the, the self was the problem. Or they don't talk about uh, not-self. I haven't quite gotten there in 1939. But, uh, but they saw that self-centeredness was the problem. So uh, another wonderful way that uh, Buddhism can help us with this, this problem. Another way that I think Buddhist recovery expands out the idea of recovery is, is the idea of addiction to um, things, the addictive culture, which actually Santakara is going to also lead the panel on that. And his fellow panelist uh, gave birth a couple weeks ago and had to bow out, Diana Winston, here in spirit. Um, He's now addicted to breastfeeding, I think. Which I understand is actually pretty pleasurable in a certain way. Sometimes I don't know which lines are going to be funny. I'll give you my whole theory about the connection between sex and food addiction later on, but uh, just to say that breastfeeding has something to do with it. So uh, that's a teaser. Uh, so the Buddhist Recovery Network, you know, when we say that we're open to, uh, respect, uh, open to people of all backgrounds and respectful of all recovery paths, uh, this is what we're talking about, this is part of what we're talking about. That we're really trying to be inclusive. And we're, and, we're trying to discover what Buddhist recovery is. Uh, again, if you're coming here get, trying, hoping to get a definition from us, you've come to the wrong place. You are going to have to define what Buddhist recovery means. So ultimately, the answer to what is Buddhist recovery is, don't know. Great. Sage teaching. I don't even know if this is something that will last or whether it'll, it's useful or not. Um, as I've said, it's been you know, sort of started by a core group of people um, who have also, I sh might mention just another aside that um, we put out a bunch of money and uh, and we haven't gotten it all back <laughs> because of the economy. Uh, the Springsteen line. Come on in. <laughs> the sp spirits are trying to break in. Davis. The Springsteen line on account of the economy from the river. Anyway, 
musical reference. Uh, I've done my sports reference, so I figured I better fit in my musical reference. So we're actually uh, going to give some opportunities for Donna, people who make donations to the, uh, basically to the conference, to the, to the network, just to take up our short shortfall. Your first opportunity to be of service. You know, you were looking for that, so. Mm -hmm. You know, ultimately, Buddhist recovery may be a piece of the recovery puzzle. You know, uh, Noah is talking about creating a really new form based on the Eightfold Path of, uh, that's not referring to the 12 steps. Uh, Alan does research, mindfulness-based relapse prevention, trying to use mindfulness as a core principle to uh, deal with addiction. Uh, there was an article in the New Yorker, uh, I think last winter, about one of these high-end treatment centers in Malibu, and, and as, as these articles will be, always there's kind of a uh, sneering and, and uh, you know, making fun of the uh, extremes of, of uh, the wealthy trying to get sober. And, and in it, there was, of course, pulling out some statistic about the failure rate and how many people relapsed out of that uh, treatment center. And, and I thought, yeah, but um, before there was such a thing as a treatment center or some kind of treatment help, 12 steps, whatever it is, there was no rate of recovery. <laughs> Uh, you know, people are like, why, why, does, why don't more people stay sober in AA, or why don't they more, more people stay sober this way or that way? Well, it's not because of the failure of the programs, I don't believe. I think it's because of a failure of, it's not a failure, it's because of the power of the disease. The disease of addiction is very, very strong, very stubborn. I don't, you know, any more than we would go to a cancer researcher and say, well, we're shutting down your funding because there's still people dying of cancer. Um, you know, it, it's just, that's a very powerful disease. Um, you know, my, my current thinking this week, I'd like to stay fresh, my ideas, <laughs> is that even beyond Buddhist recovery, I'd really like to see the people, all the recovery paths, start to talk to each other rather than kind of segment, segment themselves apart from each other and say, oh well, you know, I, the 12 steps, I don't want to do that, no, I'm, uh, oh well, you know, those mindfulness, I'm not going to do that, well, I won't, I'm just going to do this. Or, uh, and, and, you know, different things work for different people, but obviously nothing works for everybody. <laughs> And uh, I think the great question, the great puzzle is what, what works? That's ultimately what we all want to know. Uh, I, I certainly think that this field of investigation of Buddhism and recovery is very fertile and one that really needs development. And it's going to lead to a lot of great changes and growth in the recovery movement. So I hope that this conference will strengthen our community and will ultimately be a foundation for leading to the end of suffering for all beings. May all beings be freed from the suffering of addictive behaviors. Thank you.